All right, what's going on, guys? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Welcome to the Week 11 Offensive Line Report. This is the Andrew Thomas episode. We're going to only talk about Andrew Thomas for a few reasons. Coming back from injury, and he's really like the only long-term piece that's on the team, or at least that's starting, because for some reason, Nate Solder continues to start over Matt Pear. But I'm not doing that rant this week. Um, and Jason Garrett, that news has kind of been occupying us. And it's traveling on a, on a holiday week. Thanksgiving tomorrow. Uh... I was in Tampa on Mon- until Tuesday, and then I'm going to New Jersey on Friday uh, f- uh, for the Eagles game. So this is going to be a shorter one. We're going to focus on Andrew Thomas. And what I'm going to say about Andrew Thomas is this was his worst game of the year. But I love where we're at with Andrew Thomas now, where this is his worst game of the year. And it's not the biggest sample size because he missed, uh, you know, he, because he missed four games. But do you think Andrew Thomas played bad on Monday night? You know, and like the two worst reps were at the very end of the game. It was either the last drive or the second to last drive. No, it was actually, it was the last drive. So his two worst reps of the night were the, I think they were actually the last two plays of the game. Um, So like, but there's things that need to be worked on. There's like, hey, this is a good rep, but this needs to be, this needs to be better. This is how it could be better. So I love where we're at with Andrew Thomas, especially after the way it started in his rookie season. So you know, and you guys know I'm a big Andrew Thomas fan, but you know I'm a big fan of his because of his play and what he's able to do. So we're going to talk about his hands getting a little wide, wasting movement, but we're going to talk about the good with that. It's like okay, but even on that bad, you know, that bad first punch, he replaces the hands. So we're going to get into it. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I used to never ask to like and subscribe, and now I do it on every video, and I feel like people tune me out. So maybe I'll stop asking people to like and subscribe. All right. We're going to talk about his punch. But watch this rep. Just watch this rep. That's a good rep. Right? Like, no, put. he doesn't get pushed back. Work inside. Bam. Not only does he, like, protect it inside, but he's like, I'm going to drive you down the field. Why not, Jason Pierre-Paul? So let's go through it, though. Let's critique, and let's see what's good about it. Watch the punch. His hands are like symbols. Where what he could do, and I'm going to show actually an example of Soldier actually doing it right on the next rep. Just shoot him. Punch those hands. Don't get him wide because what happens when you do that, you leave your chest inside, uh, or you, you leave your chest exposed. Jason Pierre Paul gets in there where he could bull rush you. Now, does the bull rush work on this? No. And what's good is watch the hands now. Hand replacement. Work that left hand. See? That's not where you want your hand. Work it. Underneath. Now we got your hand where you want. And he counters inside. You don't open the gate. You're flattened out. And hell, like I said, this would be a win of a rep right here. But you know what? I'm going to try and finish him. I'm going to drive his ass down the field. And this was actually, this this is that was the play that uh, Jones could have called it for a TD. Let's do it again. Let's see it again. Bad rep, absolutely not. In fact, it's a good rep. But it could be better, you know. And this is, I guarantee you, this is what Rob Sale's talking to him about. You know, the, even after his greatest games, he, there's they're gonna there's gonna be critiques. See how the hands are wide. Leaves his chest exposed bull rush now he wins and then Matt Skura comes and gives help and they you know drive him towards the referee so like he wins this rep like at the end of the day like this is a, a very good rep but shoot those hands watch how Solder does it now ignore that Solder opens his hips way too early his feet are too skinny but watch his punch here here no wasted movement that's a good punch by by Nate Now, I don't I don't really like the 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 hand churning on Nate, and this isn't the Nate Solder uh you know segment, but it's like the punch is good. Ready, boom, punch, good punch by Nate Solder, and this play got critiqued by crazy by like all the film guys. 
But that's but but you know I'm not sitting here trying to say that's a good solder rep, but that's a good like that's the punch that's you know that's what Thomas can work on right there. Next rep. Again, this is a good rep. This is a very good rep. But watch the hands. Wide. And then look. Shaq Barrett's able to get into his chest. And he gets bull rush. Now here, we got hand replacement and good feet. And this is why I loved Andrew Thomas more than other guys in the draft. Because his instincts, his ability to recover from when he does make mistakes, when he does lean or, you know, his hands are too wide. Like his instincts I thought were better than all of those guys. Like his ability to recover. So not only does he recover from the wide punch, but the bull rush wins initially. But you watch. We talk about this all the time with the bull rush, right? The hop step. Where you put, I mean, both feet in the air. Both feet in the air and re-anchor. But not only is he doing the hop step, like, not only is he doing the hop step, he's replacing his hands at the same time. Watch. Left hand, bringing it down. Right hand, bringing it down. Replacing it. Like, that's the stuff I love about Andrew Thomas. Again, is this a perfect rep? No. But that's the kind of stuff that gets me jazzed up about watching Andrew Thomas. And it's why I'm such a huge Andrew Thomas fan. You know? And it was why, like, you know, I really hated the take in, after the draft that he was the most pro-ready. Because I disagreed with that. I feel like that was people just looking at the PFF stats of pressures because they were better than everyone else's. And the fact that he was playing against SEC competition and people just turned that into the most pro-ready. Because I thought he had the most to work on. But I thought he was the most athletic of the bunch. Worfs was the strongest. But I thought... Or actually, no, Becton might have been the strongest. But I thought he was the most athletic of the bunch, but it was like, look at the results he has versus these pro like pro competition, but also has like this ability to get better at stuff, and he's gotten better at it. All right, but here's, here's the bad reps. You know, and this is the end of the game. Doesn't recover from the bull rush. Doesn't recover. See, and watch. So I just got done praising him. Let's go through some bad reps. Hands wide. Bull rush. Does you know doesn't get into the hop step gets driven back. QB hit on Daniel Jones, you know. So if he doesn't let him get into it inside into into his chest, and I know that's not who he you know scouting report. This is end of game garbage time stuff, but you know that's a decent hit on DJ. And then you know a player two later. Gives up a sack. I know it's the end of the game. But. Bull rush. Gets stunned. It's a nice. Nice set. Good landmark. But he gets that bull rush. Gets him off balance. And now the hips are open. And the fact that. <laughs> These guys can't block either. I mean, this is a screenshot. I thought about doing this screenshot, but it was a bad Daniel Jones game. So it's like, you know, outside of the bad offensive line. So I didn't feel like doing the, oh my gosh, look at what he's dealing with. So, and it was at the end of the game too. So this, even if this is blocked perfectly, they score a touchdown, doesn't, it doesn't make it. But that's a screenshot right there. Should make that the thumbnail. Gives up a sack. You know, had he given up a, like, what were his sack numbers? Coming in, coming into this game, it was either one or zero. I can't remember. Like he didn't give well up once versus Denver. Didn't he, I think he had given up zero sacks this season? If I'm if I'm not mistaken, um, but regardless, uh, uh here's a a rep where he's washing around the edge, which is like this is a winnable, this is a good rep. But you know he's like he hasn't had to do that. Where last year he'd win like that a lot. But you know you got the the wide hands. So just get, you know, like that's if, if that's got to be a coaching point for Rob Sale this week with Thomas. Like, hey, man, I know you're coming back. You're probably worried about your feet. And his feet were really good in this game. We, you know, we were looking at it. Um, and his hand replacements, like, we got to punch that. We got to get that, uh, that punch a little tighter. Here, this is a weird rep, man, because he doesn't open his hip. Like, you know, we talk about the feet. He doesn't open his hips up early, usually. Like hits it, and and this was a supposed to be a long developed play, so it's not like a, it's a three step drop and you know get the ball out quick and you're just trying to let him go around the corner. 
you know, and then it leaves him his inside exposed. Like this is a weird rep. I haven't seen these type of rep. Like this was that's a, that's a a weirdly bad rep out of Andrew Thomas. Got hit with a couple stunts. This one's beautiful. And you're setting. You see it coming. Step down. Pass it off. Pick up Devin White. Hands inside. And you know what? He's going to drop out. I got uh, Joe trying. Let me try and get a hand on him too. Just awareness. Good stuff. This next one is a bad stunt pickup, but it's on Skura, not Thomas. Because Skura lets him get outside of him, doesn't play the full man. If Skura like slides over on this, and I know it's Skura versus, you know, a, a first round pick in Joe Tryon, so it's, I mean, what a what a freaking D line by the way for Tampa. But it seriously like, reminds me of like the the NASCAR package where you have Sue and then you have three you know defensive ends and Tryon Barrett and, and Pierre at JPP. But gives that up. So when the stunt is recognized, where's Thomas supposed to step down? You know, like he can't like you know this this so this looks like a bad stunt pickup on it, it is a bad stunt pickup, but it's on Skur and not Thomas. And QB hit, fumble. There wasn't much in the run game. Jenison didn't run the ball a lot, but this was a really nice down block I liked. Good first step. Hands inside. And just moving them. Moving them down. Moving them down. Moving them down. We're starting here. And we're ending up down here. And, and what are you celebrating about, dude? You just got your ass washed down. I don't know what you're celebrating about. I know it's a team game. But I don't know what you're stomping about. Like, you didn't do that. Here was the play on on first and goal after the Adore Jackson interception. This could have been... DJ could have scored on this, but he just whiffs. Just missed times it leans. Whiffs. If he picks this up right here, and just like say there's no movement, DJ, I mean, t Tony gets some type of piece on, on Winfield. And we've seen DJ just try and run dudes over. But And here, let's look at this. Let's look at this. Oh, my God, dude. He wa he wa let him around the edge. I, I was in the stands for this. I called this. They said 7-8 was eligible. I put two and two together. About the they ran routes and practice on on Friday or Saturday. Just beautifully done. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Not only do you sell it well, but my man's athletic. Get out into that route. Get out into that route. Uh, well, I, we're, I think we're making shirts of this. This is beautiful. I know we lost, we got destroyed, but I I need an Air Drew shirt. Just beautiful, beautifully done. High point the ball. Bring it down. Secure it. Celebrate with those O-linemen. Good celebration, too. I'm like I'm glad that they had it planned out. I, when we had Nick Gates on the show, I asked him, like, did you have a celebration plan for uh you know the the Cleveland game when they you know when they tried to run the trick play? I mean, just good sell. Number 78 is eligible. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I wish. I wish we would have won just so I could celebrate this play even more. And I can't show you the celebration because they'll copyright me from ESPN. But beautiful stuff. I love that stuff. I'm so glad they had a good celebration too. So it was, uh, you know, wasn't definitely wasn't Andrew Thomas' best game. But we watched this, and do you do you you know walk away from this feeling bad about Andrew Thomas? No, I feel good about him. I'm really happy with where we're at. You know, and we've got a building. We got a, a building block right there. Do we got a building block here through there? 
I don't know. But we got actually I do know. We don't. But we got a building block right there. So like, subscribe. I just said I was gonna stop asking and I asked you. So but appreciate you guys. Uh um no film review this week. Like I said, working against the clock. But uh let's go Andrew Thomas and let's go Big Blue.